Hi class, today we're going to talk about the promotional mix. And really what this is, is if you think of marketing and entrepreneurship, the shark tank competitions and all that, if you think of all of that like a cake, this and this whole course is, is like a cake. This this truly is the icing. This This solidifies it. This puts it all together so that way you can understand um, how your business is, business or how businesses um, communicate to consumers about their products. So let's go ahead and get in here. So the definition of promotional mix is the combination of promotional tools, which include advertising, public relations, personal selling, sales promotion, and social media, which are used to reach the target market and fulfill the organization's overall goals. Okay, that's a lot. What this means is that how we're going to work on the that P, the promotion. That's what we're talking about here. So the first type is advertising. That is impersonal, meaning it's not personalized. It's a mass communication about a product or organization that is paid for by a marketer. Examples of this would be television commercials, radio commercials, magazine ads. So it's one way, you don't give feedback this way. There's nobody telling you it. It is on a, a mass communication tool. However, I want you to remember the one word in there, paid. The business pays for advertising, okay? All right, the next one is public relations. So this is the marketing function that evaluates public attitudes, identifies areas within the organization the public may be interested in, and executes a program of action to earn public understanding and acceptance. So, publicity. Think of publicity, it's the same as advertising. It's public information about a company, product, service, or issue appearing in the mass media as a news item. So publicity is like advertising, only it's not paid for. Something bad happens, the news media gets a hold of it and broadcasts it. So some they say that um, no publicity is bad publicity um, because whenever your name is in the media, it's your name being floated around. I'm sure there are plenty of people, though, that would beg to disagree and, and say that there are as bad publicity, but it could be good publicity. The next one is sales promotion. So that's marketing activities that stimulate consumer buying and dealer effectiveness. So this does not include personal selling, advertising, or public relations. These are other things. These are things such as a relationship, um, like a card that you have at Wise Markets, um, your club card, that is a sales promotion. Coupons are sales promotions. Frequent buyer cards are pro sales promotions. So any of those little extras that you use to um, you know, augment your services with a business. So the little things that you might not think about, refunds, rebates, um, the customer service even that goes along with it in a way. Then we have personal selling. That's a purchase situation involving a personal, paid for communication between two people in an attempt to influence each other. So what that is, is if you um, are selling um, Pampered Chef, you are trying to sell it to other people, that's personal selling. It's a lot like direct selling or direct marketing. Um, and then you have content marketing and social media. So there's a whole other realm out there of social media marketing um, and how marketers use social media to influence people, which um, we will get into at another time. So the internet has changed how businesses promote their brands three types of media. There's paid media, so that's traditional advertising. You pay for media space. There's earned media. That is a promotional tactic based on public relations or the publicity model that gets customers talking about products or services. And then there's owned media. That's a new category of promotional tactic based on brands becoming publishers of their own content in order to maximize their brand's value to customers. So examples of this would be the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which was canceled last year. Um, it's uh, their social media accounts. It's YouTube. It's, it's TV shows. It's any type of media that is owned by the company that they can put their brand out on. And right there, 
talks about owned media, how social media is concentrated there between um, owned, earned, um, and paid. Um, but right there, the owned media is websites, blogs, social media presence. And here is a chart that gives you the characteristics of the elements in the promotional mix. And you can review that on your own. And we will pick up with the ADA model very soon. Thanks, guys. See you later.